So very good morning to Gate Easy Aspirant and welcome you on behalf of Easy Gate. This is Kumaran, alumnus of IIT Madras and founder of Easy Gate as well. So I'll be teaching around four subjects in my institute, uh, namely analog electronics, digital electronics, control systems, and electric circuits. So initially, uh, I'll be taking you through the Easy Paper. Uh, memory based questions okay so the paper when you ask suppose if you ask me how was the paper that's the first question every get aspirant used to ask okay the paper is easy it's not tough okay uh, like uh, gate 22 or gate 21 paper in gate 21 paper if you get into the problem little twist will be there you'll be getting uh, stuck in the middle of the problem okay looking for ideas okay and looking for something else in the middle of the problem okay so that doesn't happen in gate 22 easy paper so the score definitely will uh, the qualification mark will definitely will go high little high around 10 marks will be higher than the gate 21 marks so expecting it to be around 35 marks okay <clears throat> but any easy aspirant with a proper preparation for an a year okay can score 60 plus in this paper okay so the overall score can also go beyond 85 expecting the all india rank first rank uh, mark between 85 and 90 such an easy paper that's what uh, i felt okay we'll see anyway okay so uh, can only may only will come to know okay only after the declaration of result by the organizing institute that is uh, it uh, correct board. okay fine then. so the paper is good it was easy to answer so i'll be taking you to one of the problems in the paper that is uh, one from I have planned an analog electronics problem. Uh, that's by using an operational amplifier circuits. Okay, one of the operational amplifier circuits, which probably you studied in detail. It was very easy to answer. Okay, that's why I'm saying uh, it's not like all the problems are uh, this kind. Okay, but still some problems, but still easier than gate 2021 problems. Okay, yes. So welcome you once again to gate 22 easy memory based questions from easy gate okay yes so that's a problem from analog electronics for two marks an mcq problem yes what is given us an operational amplifier circuit with the output label does v not with the input label does v in and its frequency response analysis okay data is given so its frequency response is given. It is m decibel versus omega. We usually take, but he played little. He has, instead of omega, he has given log 10 omega. Play carefully there. Don't take omega equal to 3 radian per second. You have to take log 10 omega equal to 3. With that, you can go for the omega. Okay, find that. So there is a transfer function. That means the overall uh, system is governed by a transfer function T of S. That is going to be V naught of S by V in of S. In this, he has set S equal to J omega. Then he went for the magnitude of T. Okay, only this. Okay, so T of J omega, because it's only MDB plot, magnitude in decibel versus omega, but log omega, remember that. Okay, so yes. So the goal is to get the transfer function quickly. That is connecting V naught and V. So we need to find that. And this is a simple active low pass filter and doing a passive low pass filtering. So this is doing passive low pass filtering. And once you remember the passive low pass filter transfer function straight away, hope you can remember with enough practice, since it is a low pass straight away, let me take this resistor as for example, visually we take this as R2, we take this as R1. So let me take this as R, okay? But the problem is different, okay? So problem is, what is exactly the what is exactly the problem means? Yes, you need to find the values. This is the frequency response. So to match the given system has to be designed in such a way that this low pass response has to be made. Low pass filter has to be designed. It's almost like a design of a low pass filter for such a required frequency response. So it has to have a DC gain of 12 decibels, okay, in decibels and cutoff frequency of this three. Okay. So we'll see what is that. So DZ gain, 12 decibel, cutoff frequency 3. That is log 10 omega should be equal to 3. That's what it means. Like that, we need to design. For that, what is the value of R? For that, what is the value of C? That's a question. 
So I should not conflict on this R and C. So let me take this as for example, R1 and take this as for example, R2. If that is the case, the passive low pass filter, okay, this box will return me a transfer function one by S into R2 into C plus one. That is only between this point and this point. So this is your V in of yes, you can take it as Vx of S. Remember that there is no current into the non-inverting terminal of op amp. So then actually the problem goes in two steps. First, you need to find out Vx of S by V in of S. That's a passive low pass filter. If readily available from your mind, you can write it as SR2 C plus one. Then we should go for V naught of S by V in of S. What is that? It is a cascading of two things. This is passive filtered and then it is amplified. Passive filtered and then amplified by that gain. What is that gain? So the gain of the non-inverting configuration. This is your non-inverting configuration. Its gain is going to be one plus one plus R divided by, let me take instead of R1, I'll take it as one kilo. So that's my gain. I will call this non-inverting gain as K. So therefore, I will get straight away. This is K. So it is 1 by SR2C plus 1. Okay. Into what actually it is V0 by V in. I'm finding in this way. First, I'm getting Vx by V in. And then it is V0 by Vx. So Vx is the non-inverting terminal potential. Vx is the input to the Okay, V0 is output of the non winding amplifier, Vx is the input. So then Vx, Vx will get cancelled. Even mathematically, V0 by Vn is correct. So into K. So this transfer function, you know, this transfer function, you know, this is a non inverting gain. This is 1 by SR2C plus 1. We'll get this. And hope you remember a standard low pass should have a transfer function something like K by 1 plus S by omega C. If you know that, then you can let S equal to J omega, then you will get. J omega by omega C. Then if you go for the modulus, you will end up with K by root of 1 by omega C, the whole square. That is the one going to produce such a low pass response. Okay. With the MDB equal to 20 log K, with the cutoff frequency equal to what? Omega C. Okay. Yes. What is given? 20 log K is given for us. So 20 log K is given as your DC gain or zero frequency gain that is 12 decibel you can take it so 20 log k is equal to 12 decibels so if you remember the identity straight away 20 log 2 you remember because you played with Bode plots in control system or even in uh, active filters frequency response analysis you remember 20 log 2 is equal to 6 decibel so 20 log 4 will be automatically 12 decibel otherwise you have to take log k that is equal to 12 by 20, that is going to be 0. 0.6. Then apply anti log on both sides, then k will be 10 for 0. 0.6, which demands a manipulation using online calculator. To avoid this, you can remember and straight away you can go ahead. So, result is going to be 4. Okay, I remember. Okay, so I'll go with k is equal to 4. So, since k is equal to 4, then you can find your r first. So what is that? 1 plus R by, that's your K. 1 plus K is the non-inverting gain. 1 plus R by 1 kilo ohm. That should be equal to 4. R by 1 kilo ohm should be equal to 4. Means from this, I can say R by 1 kilo ohm must be equal to 3. So I can say R is equal to 3 kilo ohm. That's a Okay. So with this, you can try some of the options. But anyway, it's not helping us. You have to find the C. Without C, the problem is not getting concluded. Okay, so let us go for the cutoff frequency now. So R is known. R is means which R, that's it. R belong to the K. So we are going to find out now, R2 is given, we are going to find out only the C. So the cutoff frequency is given. So log 10 into log 10 of omega C is equal to 3. So that's the data given. Cutoff frequency of this maximally flat, first order active low pass filter. So log 10 Omega C is equal to 3 means then applying anti log will get omega C is equal to 10 power 3 radian per second straight away. That's a cutoff frequency. And then you know the cutoff frequency omega C is equal to is that compare this. If you compare this, yes, you have this is SR2C and this is yes, omega C equal to what? 1 by 
R2C from this. From this comparing one by R2C will be the cutoff frequency decided by this frequency selective. Frequency selective, yes. Input network, okay. RC network. Passive low pass network, yes, omega C equal to one by R2 into C that is equal to 10 power 3. Therefore, R2C is equal to 1 by omega C that is equal to 10 power minus 3 seconds. Then R2 is given. C is equal to 10 power minus 3 divided by R2 given 1 kilo ohm. So the second pair, ohm, so it is going to be 10 power minus 6 farads. So then C is equal to 1 microfarad. So one can pick the correct option as R is equal to yes. 3 kilo ohm. Okay, and C is equal to 1 microfarad to get such a frequency response. Al almost like a design problem. Okay, so like this, there are many easy problems in the paper. Okay, it was an easy paper once again, stressing. Okay, so keep watching. I'll be updating with updating you with one more problem soon. Okay, from analog only. Okay, so that's a very interesting paper. Uh, probably the students who attempted, okay, might have. Uh, Okay, understood this point. Okay. Yes. So, thank you for watching. Do subscribe. I'll update you with the next problem.